my Goodman furnace stopped working and my thermostat screen was blank. It turned out that the problem was a broken furnace door switch. You see, when I took the panel off the lower compartment of my furnace, I saw that the door switch was broken. The cheapest quote I got from HVAC companies to fix the door switch was $230. So I took a picture of it, bought a replacement, and just fixed it myself. As you've seen already, I first switched off the power to the furnace. Then you need to pull off the wires connected to the door switch. Then you press on the tabs at the top and the bottom and push the switch out to the front. While this is very simple in theory, I had a hard time with this because my fingers were just not strong enough to push on the tabs very well. So while I struggled to get the switch out, let me explain the purpose of the door switch on the furnace. This is a safety feature in that when the panel is screwed on, it presses on the door switch and keeps the furnace in the on state. When anyone takes the panel off, the door switch gets unpressed and the furnace is turned off to prevent the gas furnace blower from circulating carbon monoxide in case the blower panel is off. Now I'm installing the new switch. After I replaced the door switch, my thermostat turned on and my furnace also started working again. So you can hear my furnace turn on when I press on the door switch. You can also look to see if the red light turns on when I press on the door switch, which would indicate that there is power going to the circuit board. When the switch is not working, this red light will not turn on because there would be no power going to the circuit board. My furnace is now working beautifully and you can see the red light turned on in this compartment and the flames in the other compartment. Amazon sells this door switch for under $8 with free delivery but it would take about a week for the part to arrive. So I searched and found a different online store that could get it to me in just two days for about the same price. They were selling the part for just $2.61 and the two day delivery charge was $4.95. So I bought a switch from that online store to install right away, well two days later. But I also bought a backup switch from Amazon which arrived several days later. And that's because I didn't know how good the part from this online store would be because the part was so cheap. Anyway, the part from the online store worked just fine. But I decided to keep the switch from Amazon instead of returning it in case the switch fails again in the future.